All right, welcome back and good evening. We are in Owensboro, Kentucky Center Court here at the Owensboro Convention Center, and this is what the whole day has been building up to. If you are an ACO Pro, 66 pros started the day, 16 made it to the final bracket, and the final two have made it to center court. I am Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO, the American Cornhole Organization, Owensboro Major and Pro Series side-by-side side with the Mississippi Ninja Philip Barnett, and we have seen great games played on this court on court number one and throughout the 72-court uh, setup here, but this is what it's all boiled down to for those 66 pros who showed up today to take home that championship trophy and that big, fat check. Absolutely, and we have a rematch. Yes, we do. From the Panama City Pro Series where Caleb Hurt took down Tyler Amos. Tyler Amos, yeah. yeah. And Tyler making a name for himself in these pro series when he shows up. Well, he really is, and he comes in as the number three seed with the third best score in the frame game qualifier. Yeah. Again, uh, uh, and what's so crazy is the number one seed is our man Caleb Hurt there coming out of the blue lane. And uh, I say our man because he seems to always be up here. There the command go. has been given to bring it by Frank Gears, the cornhole Absolutely. dude, and that's exactly what they have been doing all day. The first bag flies. That's one of those 724 Project 13s right down the middle. Right down the middle. And I'm going to tell you right now, I believe we're going to see a lot of blocking by Caleb Hurd in this match because Tyler is very good at sliding the bag in. He still he has a good airmail also. But I think, I think Caleb is going to make him take those shots before this match is over. Well, I, and I think we've talked about strategy. We've talked about offense versus defense. We've talked about chess matches, you know, uh, you know, shootouts. We've talked about, you know, uh, a sniper shot, every, everything. This is going to be – this first game is going to be completely – I almost feel like neither one of them is going to play the exact game they plan to play yeah. because they're going to feel going each to other out. And, and and I guarantee the games that they play against one another are not going to be the same as they were in Panama City no. Beach just a couple of months back. You know what? I'm so proud of you. That Why? You, that, you know what? That, that's how far along you came <laughs> since we started. You 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 absolutely nailed that statement right there. This this game is gonna this game is gonna change uh, several times in the middle of it. I think you might have had too much to no, drink. No, I haven't drank today. I'm I'm <laughs> sitting over here with a Mountain Dew so tonight, man. Judge. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I think I think it's 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 so much. It's funny because I think a lot of it is human nature. And I think you know these two having squared off before, and they and they've they've played one another here, there, and everywhere in the uh, singles division. But they, these guys both come in with reputations that precede them. That's right. And uh, while you know we tend to talk a lot about the Hurts and, and the way that they they play, he and Isaac and and uh, and whatnot. Tyler Amos comes in with a a stellar stellar resume with regard to both his partnerships, his singles play, his doubles play, his co-ed play, everything. And he jumps out to an early 2-0 lead on Caleb Hurd. He takes that first bag now out of the lower seed red lane, and he's going to go ahead and feed that right up the center. But I do think, um, and it may, you know, it may not be this entire first game, midway through you'll start to see each one of these guys start to assert themselves with regard to, yep, here's who I am. And then, and then we'll figure out if they can hold it. Because it's a best two out of three for the championship. Well, we have uh, Caleb has two of the first three Pro yeah. Series championships. His younger brother Isaac has the other. So uh, for the first time, it could be somebody not named Hurt taking home the big check at the end of the day. And Tyler Amos looks like he is just as dialed in as he was coming out of that semifinal a little while ago. And uh, I'll tell you what. Eight bags underneath. We're going to be here a minute. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> Tyler, three rounds, has yet to miss a bag, and Caleb's only missed one. All right. Why don't you just hand me the dollar now? <laughs> hand me the dollar now. Here it is right here. We're going to start. <laughs> no, I'm bringing a jar. I, I, I made a note in my phone to bring a Jinx jar. We're doing it. Dr. Phil. I'm going to blame it on Ashley Irvin. <laughs> uh, Heather Barks says, hey, Dr. Phil, what's yeah. going on? Oh, man, just having a good time here in Owensboro, Kentucky. Yeah, uh, You see, uh, as you might imagine, too, it's it's. Uh, why do you put somebody up on a pedestal to watch them get knocked off of it? you got a lot of Tyler Amos fans Look checking at that, in. Look man. Right yes, sir. 
good match, good stuff. Hey. Let's see those OTTs flying out of his hand. Those 724 Project 13s yeah. coming out of the right hand paw of Caleb. Hurt. Oh, he cleans and it up and leaves one off the back. So there's a three spot right there. Yeah, and you know, you know, we we saw him throw a five earlier in the frame game and just get down in and not miss early for yes. a while. And you know what? Yeah. He, he had a possible 12 points. He threw a five and then he threw an eight, uh -huh. and he was only able to qualify first with a yeah. 142. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and he had 110 in the middle of that. Yep. Good stuff, yeah. but I'll tell you, Tyler came in as the number three with, a, I think, a 139. Yeah. Right behind Alan Wingham with a 140, and a possible perfect score is 156. And upstage cornhole still, for those who are interested, you should check them out. They have thrown a $1,000 bounty on anybody that steps up on center court and throws a perfect frame game with an upstage bag series. So how about that? A thousand dollar bonus? Would that be enough to make you pick up a set of upstages Absolutely. and throw them right here? Oh, oh, he went up for the... And, and now let's see if Tyler goes for the big hitter right here. Bag. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's room. I mean, there's a lot of room to the left side of that hole. Up and over. Oh, and what a there. shot. He got it in there. And he left everything else. Oh, on. oh and two off the back. That's a six spot. Yeah. A couple of French fries on the board right now for Tyler Amos over Caleb Hurt. And he's jumped out to what is going to – I mean, you, you need to have that kind of aggressive lead knowing that he's going to get dialed in, he's going to run it right up the middle on you. But as long as you hold that first bag, you can dictate hey, the pace. Hey, let me tell you something. You know I like aggressive, and that is yeah, that is very aggressive was, by Tyler Amos to shoot that air mail. Yep, that was balls. <laughs> and I thought, what I tell you? You're going to start seeing some blocks now that Tyler's been sliding a lot of bags in the hole. Well, and so much for my genius about uh, everybody just feeling each other out yeah. for a minute. 11 that, nothing. It's time to start feeling it. It's time to start, you know, making it happen. Tyler came out slinging, throwing punches right here. He did. Oh, Boy, there you go. That got a little. That one was on target, just caught the top of one uh, of the bags. Over the top, oh. and he uh, takes oh. a couple bags in there, and the uh, follow up bag, probably not the one that Caleb would have liked. Is he going to come in low and try to push two in? And there's, no, and he hey, gets there awesome is gun. the hurt push right yeah. there that we see so often. He yeah. gets one point out of that. It's crazy, you know, as we've talked about, to see so much happen for either nothing or one point. But, yeah. boy, the importance of that point psychologically right there, is a, I think it makes a huge, huge difference. I agree with that. Eric Holder, I agree with the eyeballs, baby. It's crazy. Somebody asking us to fix the camera. I'm not sure exactly what, yeah. what we need to fix, but if there's something that needs fixed, we'll Matt fix will it. fix it. <laughs> Is Tyler off a little bit this round? Just a touch. Oh. But that get around bag no. wasn't uh, getting around just far enough, so now he's got a, a little bit of a space there at four. Nice oh, wow, bag. about that. One, two, three, takes them yeah, all. Yeah, and he's uh, the opportunity to grab him four right here to take a 15 to one lead in the first game, Finn. Oh, oh and he doesn't. He, he only doesn't gets two. It. He's only gonna pick up the two, so there's lucky 13, or is it? Boy, and, you know, it's crazy. Both bags he could have used to keep himself right in the middle. <laughs> he he didn't touch either one of them. He didn't do either one of them, no. It's that fourth bag blues that we always talk about well, right it there. It really is. It's, it's, it's an embarrassment of riches too good to be true. And, and oh, now he's going to throw a little defense into the game. Yeah, a little replacement bag there by Caleb Hurt. But you mentioned that. He's going to see what Caleb's willing to do from a risk-reward nice. standpoint. Now these guys open it back up. Thanks again to our friends from Corn Slingers Bag Company who have been handling the duties on court one today. They will be doing the same thing during the day tomorrow for singles and doubles action as we look to crown a Ooh. champion here. There's a bag up to the... Uh, outside top now it's interesting because earlier we talked about how calm cool and collected becky hurt was now we're starting yeah. to find her oh, off in the dark wow. room. boy how about that that's, that's gonna four. Be a four yeah and uh calm cool and collected now leads her over into the quiet corner i'm trying to get some insight from the king over there you know, craig Irvin, who is tyler yeah. amos double partner he just looked over and he just started nodding and when that flat when that flat bell starts nodding you know what that means <laughs> he likes it he likes it he likes it Nice first bag there, 17 to one. This is a this is a score that Caleb Hurt is not used to seeing. It's, it's like something that we haven't ever seen. I don't think. 
He is uh, getting manhandled by Tyler Amos right here. And we said Tyler went and learned. Maybe he did learn from the, the, the Panama City. Oh, oh, what a shot. And that is a that's, point that's saving a, shot. And honest to God, that, that, yeah. that you, you, that's what? The, the, is there a Velcro side uh, to these bags that I'm missing? God, I don't know. But he, he gets a wash out of that when we thought we had it. He had one out of play and was fixing to give up two. Yeah, that's a, that's a great shot yes. there at 17 on one. I'm going to make a note because I want to go back and look at that one. Oh, man. 17 on one. Caleb Grab, I'm making notes. I want to go back and look at that one. You are the note taker of the crew. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm left-handed. That's why, because I got room to make some notes over here on the left side yeah. of the broadcast pavilion. It'll be like me and my sister eating. She's left-handed. Yep. And we always sit on the opposite ones we needed to. Absolutely. All right. So right now it's just sort of a little shootout up the – center of the board. That OTT is hanging out a little bit left. Yeah. I think he's just going to go ahead and leave that one there. 17 on one. And, and that's he's the smart thing. Room. Don't give yeah. up the big round. Just give up yeah. two. You're okay. You're well, up 17 to one. You've used the word more this weekend than any other weekend. Chase. Yeah. Don't chase. Oh, up and over. Oh, and he, oh, he look just at missed that. it off the He bat. did lay up behind that bag right there and got a point he, out of it. Yeah, and he forced, he forced yeah. Caleb to do something that normally we'd see him do. And even he, going that way, yeah. even going that way, we thought he'd have a better perspective. Mm -hmm. But he loses the point, so 18 on one wow. right now. Andy says, it's only game one. Caleb's like Rocky. He's got to get beat up first. <laughs> it's like Hulk Hogan. Cut he's gotta, me, He's got to drop at one. <laughs> Two and then boom there right before the it hits on the three. Out. Yeah, you get that big, you get that big arm up, and yeah. here comes the 22-inch pythons, brother. What are you going to do when yeah. they get a hold of you? Look at that. That's a perfect bag right there. Man, they, uh, if you ever wanted to, to design from a physics standpoint the perfect bag, he threw it just there. And what's great is uh, Tyler threw one right behind him. <laughs> perfect. And Tyler's got one out of play this time. He is throwing all 10s and 12s. And there's two more for Caleb. Yep. All right, Becky's over there giving a little uh, quiet confirmation of her support. Not so quiet, as a matter of fact. So 18 on three in game number one. Again, it's the best of three here on center court at the Owensboro Convention Center. We work our way back here in the last week of July for the World Championships. I invite you to, if you're in the area, and by in the area, as we mentioned earlier, if you're a cornhole player, you know that means within a 12-hour drive. <laughs> Come on out. And That's join a home us. game for most people. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on out and join us. There's opportunities for you to come out in the worlds and play in the tailgater. And, in fact, you come play in the tailgater, none of the pros are allowed to play in the tailgater. Oh, no. look at that came in hard and heavy. He thought yeah. he was going to kind of steal something in left or right. There's the but big he pinched hurt it up. push. Nicely done. That's what he's saying. It's only a half a day from here. That's right. 12 Heck hours. Yeah. Heck, yeah. <laughs> or if you're flying southwest, six it's, weeks. It's there. Yeah, six weeks. Mail your luggage to uh, your hotel. <laughs> for, for what you want to know. I'm guessing is, we're pretty much written off the Southwest absolutely. endorsement. <laughs> absolutely. You forget it. Southwest is not flying us anywhere. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know, I, I had to rent a car and drive 1,100 miles to get home. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a ringing endorsement for some rental Absolutely. Car there you uh, go. Thank you very much. Uh, budget rental car. Budget. All right. 18, no, Alamo. Oh, I'm saying there was Alamo. Right. Well, remember, you got to remember the Alamo. You can't just uh, throw out budget. Yeah. 18 on five is where we find ourselves in game one and a best of three. And we know, as well as anybody, no one knows how to dial it in better than Caleb Hurt. And there's a lot of hardware and a lot of woodware hanging on the wall out in the barn that he has laid claim to over the course of these uh, past few years. Well, I think he's all of a sudden decided we're just going to go hole for hole right here. Let's see how many you can throw in there, well, Mr. Amos. And you tell me, as, as a player to this level, it's, it's almost a reset, isn't it? Yeah. It's time I think to he, reset. Yeah, I think he's reset. And he, yeah. he hadn't given this game up, and he's just throwing it back in the hole now. Yep. Is that, I think that's three 12s in a row, or 12-10-12. Chris Heather. Chriswell, Tim Smith, Jonathan Vine pulling us in. Mike yeah. Fox, I know who he's pulling for out of the SBC. Oh, you know it. You know it for a fact. Heather Barks, there's no basement at the Alamo. Pee Wee <laughs> Herman would beg to differ. Yeah. And I do believe if you go and you do a very careful excavation, you will find that if you go to the basement of the Alamo, guess what's down there? 
two cornhole boards. We're probably you're probably I'm right. Damn <laughs> That's a very good fit. <laughs> yes, I bet you. Maybe no bags, but a couple of boards are down Absolutely. there for sure. <laughs> oh boy, I'll tell you what. Invented by Davy Crockett. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. Look at look at this boy. I tell you what. There's the, hey, hey, this Caleb, is he going to go up and over? No, no sir. He's he's through hey, no, I'm taking dry. those two points. Yep. Oh, I thought. Oh, for some reason, I thought that was. Uh, Tyler's last bag. I was too busy oh. making Alamo jokes. Nicely done there. So he's going to pick up a couple. And well, 15 or uh, 18 on five. Now it becomes 18 on seven. My man Robert Harper's back on watching, tuning in. I wish he was here throwing with us. It's man, Velvet stuff. Revolver. Yeah, it's good yep. stuff. Boy, what a day we've got ahead of us tomorrow. Doors open at 7 a.m. Bags start flying at 8. And God only knows how long we will be here. But with Chris Clark running the show, who knows? We could be done at lunchtime. We, we, I'll tell you one thing. I think we're going to be in for a long <laughs> night tomorrow night. You better get long. some rest. And there's, there's one now. Caleb's finally got one out of play. And Tyler's going, thank you. Yeah, he says, all right. I'm oh, 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 and he liked, like I said, he liked it so we well, just put one in the same yeah. spot. Yep. Oops. And all of a sudden, Becky Hart is watching on the tube. Oh, there's a uh, uh, he good bag to kind of yeah. collect himself back and leave those out of play. And there's he pulled that one back just a little bit. Now he's been going after that bag on the left hand side and hadn't had much yeah, luck I with don't it. Think, don't chase it. Don't chase uh, it. Oh, oh yeah. gives up one. That's kind of crazy because he got the same I result. I told you uh, that he that bag he, he, it's been his nemesis in the last few games we've watched here. That's his Johnny Thomas bag. Johnny Thomas bag. That's, That's what Johnny we'll Thomas call it. Bag. That's Johnny Anytime Thomas there's bag. there's a nemesis. Yeah, I see Johnny sitting over there with his Alabama shirt on. Uh-huh. He's laughing as usual. Can you believe it? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so nice. these guys are going to continue to trade blows 18 on 8 right now as Tyler Amos holds a uh, what would appear in any other match to be a commanding lead over Caleb Hurd, but we shall see. We've seen... Stranger things happen with these two players both on the same court. So, look at that. What hey, a great bag. Uh, let me tell you something. Every time Caleb has thrown that block, Tyler has tried to go around it. And missed. He, got, he didn't well, bully it out of the way that time, but most of the time he's been bullying it out. That's another perfect 12 for Caleb. Yeah. And both and both of these guys did a real a really nice job of tending to their own beeswax. Yeah, you know, absolutely. For, for absolutely. lack of a better way to go. Tammy Williams checking in the SVC. Mama Bear, the That's matriarch right. of the SVC. We, I did not see her around I here today. Seen, I have not seen yeah. her, neither she nor uh, Junior today. Yeah. But you know she's she's screaming because she typed in all caps. Oh, yeah. It's all caps. Let's go, Caleb. I think I heard her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so these guys just uh, continue to. There's oh, the what roll a, bag. What a roll right there. Yeah. Just a slugfest right now. And it is. I like Andy Blade as uh, kind of comparison to Rocky. This has every bit of that Rocky Apollo Creed oh, fight right there. That's a great bag. It bounces up, moves right, moves back left. I don't know how it did it, but it did it. Those OTTs ready to go, yeah, and they nice do. Nice finish. And that fourth bag blues there, and he doesn't have yeah, them. Nice. He's got it. Fourth bag done, and he's getting ready to just put down the wash, I think, is Caleb. Now we'll see what happens, Tyler says. Thank just, you very much. Just another double 12. I have to be honest with you, and I know it's it's probably not what your typical sports announcer would do, but I'm going to tell you this right now, this is irritating the hell out of me. <laughs> 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 just so, it's so damn hard to do this. And I think a lot of times it's like, it's like watching, you know, World Cup or EPL. Soccer, it, unless you've done it, you have no idea yeah. how good it is what you're seeing. Well, what, what we're seeing, Finn, is you're, you're seeing guys that, for the average player, these shots are hard. I mean, they're hard. But for these guys, it's not yeah. that hard. No, it's just they part make of the it trick look bag. easy. Yeah, it's yeah. part of the trick bag. Yeah. Just because I make it look easy doesn't mean it is easy. Is a, is a, a way I've heard he takes that step in the center of the uh, boy. Oh. You know, it's funny. As soon as he let that bag go, you, you can tell he did not have command of it. Mm. He, stood, he stepped his, to the middle of the pitch pad right there, and as soon as it left his fingertips, he, he did not have that command. Tyler may be trying to go for the air. Oh, here. Wally Kassler says, what's up, boys? Yeah. Let's go. Wally. Oh, oh. And that is a four spot that he absolutely did not want. All of a sudden, 18 to, to 12. Oh, and now you've given double digits back yeah. to a guy who is ready to put the hurt on you. He was down you. 18 to 1. Mm -hmm. 
Kyle Sauls, what's up, buddy? Miss seeing you around the circuit here. Nice uh, bag to get started there from Caleb. And uh, Tyler leans back. He seems fairly nonplussed. He knows what the job is that needs to be done. Put it in a place where he can get to it. Just think of these guys are going to be out here tomorrow with 498 of their <laughs> personal friends tomorrow right. throwing yeah. in here. And, 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 and the winner could come out of nowhere. With you. I know Drew Wiking's in the field. Oh, yeah. You know how good he's been throwing? This is I, Zach Rush, who I see standing over there, is in this field tomorrow. Yep. This place is going to be rocking tomorrow. And you, you know it's interesting, too. We've we've noticed this, and we talk. Oh, nice bag. Oh, Tyler. Boy, he didn't. He wasn't able to pull his other, but that one will come. That one will drop. That one's going to drop. But he's left. Uh, Caleb's yeah. left one out of play there. And, uh, there you go. Two points for a couple right there. Puts him on the twenty. Magic twenty right now. Yeah. But we, you know, we talk about. You know, wanting to see, and you know, sitting here at center court, how many times we see so many of the same players. It was kind of nice to see some different names and games on center court after the uh, after the uh, frame games. But you know who always finds a way back to center court are the people that don't end up on center court and get nervous yeah. about being on center court. Yeah. And you and you mentioned Zach Rush. He was up here earlier. Guy had been playing lights out all day. Got up here, and it just I think he just got a little bit spooked, and it's. I it's, think you're talking about Robert Booker. Well, B Booker, but I yeah. saw I saw uh, Zach up here. I think didn't we see him up here earlier? I don't think so. I, I don't thought think we, we saw had Zach. Oh, I was. Well, you were out playing. Yeah, he played yeah. while you were out playing. He was up here. Oh, it was a frame game. Oh, sorry, yeah. this is frame game. But it was just the whole idea of being up here. And sometimes it's easier to play with somebody four feet to your left or four feet to your right. There's a four spot. Oh, it's a two spot. It was in the air, we thought four. Once it hit the board, it was a two. Yeah. But yeah, it was his frame game and he got up here and it just he just unraveled a little bit. Uh -huh. And I think it's it's weird because you're not used to playing shoulder anything but shoulder yeah. to shoulder out on the main play space. Russell Tapers, he had, he had such a bad start and he, he made a good comeback and almost got into the field. Yep. So I mean it it happens when you get on this center court, it's a different animal. Yep. And that's where I think ultimately the game gets played between your ears. What was it? Yogi yeah. Berra said 50% of this game is 90% That's battle right. or something Absolutely. Like that. I don't know. Oh, well, go read that book sometime. It's excellent, by the way. Yeah. But uh, what was the lady that won the lady with the women's in uh, South Bend when we were up there? That, I, I called her that something lady. Can't remember her name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But you remember her hands shaking, uh -oh. but how she started out. She started out so bad. Yeah, she was shaking when she started playing, and she was shaking yeah. when she came to claim the yeah. women's title. And uh, she was uh, she was something else. We I, I wish I, I don't have her name at my fingertips uh -huh. because she was a new game and a yeah. new name, and it was fun to see. It was fun to see. Carol what? Was, it was Wasner. Wasner. That Carol lady. There, there you go. Carol that Wasner. Carol lady. How could I forget that that close to Christmas? Someone named Carol. That guy, I'm glad the truck has got my back That's over right. there sometimes. Yeah. But but you saw her hands just shaking when yep. she come over here, man. But it was it was great to see, and that's the kind of enthusiasm and excitement. Yeah. And what's amazing to be able to control that when you're out here in a situation like these two are, you know. And right now, I mean, we're looking at Ooh. 20 on 14 when we had what was the score at one point? 18 to one. 18 to one. Yeah. Yeah. It was a I was really just checking to make sure you were <laughs> Hey, I'm awake. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's piled him up right there. Just going to take that push and try to that clean push. it up. <laughs> now, he's not going to be able to get this one, is Tyler, so he's nope. just going to have to take what he can get and put it up and under. Oh, and he does that. 20 to 16. <laughs> oh, man. You can never count the Hurt boys out. We saw him, Randall Garrison, a big, big lead on big Isaac lead. Hurt, and twice. he came back. Yeah, twice. 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 Yeah. I hate to keep talking about that, Randall. If you're tuning in, I'm sorry. It just happened. Though. Oh, he's so mad. Yeah. He's so mad at you. Everybody knows how I, I, I like Randall Garrison. He's a good dude. This is game one, uh, Wally. I know you're asking. My man Trey Howard back on Chris Reese in the Nashville area. Well, and you, you think about that. And this could be a possibility fin of two more for Caleb. You think about that, Wally tuned in, saw 18 to one. He assumed this yeah. was game two. Uh-huh. Never assume. You know what always happens when you assume? Yeah. 
And you become an ass. You make an ass out That's of you right. and me. <laughs> Actually, I do a good enough job on that on That's my right. own. 20 right. to 18. 20 on 18. And you got to know that Tyler's feeling the pressure of the hurt right down his back. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, though. We've seen him and we've seen a number of players here on center court kind of ebb and flow with the pressure. Like, they get the jitters, then yeah. they're cool, and then they get the jitters again. I don't think it's been him oh. necessarily as much with the jitters as just finally you see Caleb start to take control of his own game and, and how he's going to represent that game. And sometimes it becomes nice inevitable. Bag. Yeah, there's an inevitability about a comeback. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's an inevitability about the win, but just about the comeback. That was on purpose right there. Now think of Tyler, I'll go down there and look and see what I have available right here. Because Caleb's got one down, he could tie this game. And hey, there you go. I told yeah. you, I knew one, I knew one of them's gonna go take yeah. a look at Somebody's it. Somebody's gonna go take, because I think they think there might be more space on that back yeah. side than there is. And those there's are both. There's nothing. No, and those are both Tyler's bags on the back. But so. Caleb, if he could somehow weasel the four points out of this, he could pick up the victory after yeah. being down 18-1. to one. That's crazy. And what, what I wish got? I knew what he's going to try. Come over here and tell me, Caleb, yeah. please. Yeah, we need to put him on a headset. <laughs> yeah. We need, that's what we need to get to. We need to put these guys on a headset. He's going to try gonna nothing. Low. Take the two. Now, now, Tyler may go after this, and it could cost him. You know, he's got – It could cost him the game if he bounces off and goes off the back. Yeah, and there's a good chance because of the way that this is so he's going up and over. Oh, oh he, he got the it. two to go and picks up. I think he picked up one or gave up one. He gave up one. Uh, he got, yeah, he got two to drop. Yeah. He lost it off the back side. And, uh, oh, yeah. man. It's twenty. Man, he, you gotta have you gotta hey. have them to go after that one right there. Uh, I can tell you that, that was that was some serious set of balloons. Yes, right there. sir. Oh my goodness! So Caleb takes the point, takes the first bag. Now who's gonna make the mistake to end this game? Yeah, it is. It is. It's gonna be a mistake. Yeah, You're right. It's not gonna be anything except he it, should be able to grab this and finish it off, clean everything up. Which he does. Hey, and just that like the frame game that Caleb threw. We saw him throw a five and an eight. And an eight. And then he just got rolling. That's what he's done in this game. To a 142 yeah. out of 156. And you can see the, the crowd has slowly gathered oh, yeah. around center court because I think when somebody when the oh, word Oh, and that could oh, be it right there. When the word got out it was eighteen to one and it was Caleb with yeah. the one, all of a sudden people started rolling over here to see what's there. There it is. All right. Tyler going, oh, oh my gosh, man. I finished this one. Well right. there you go. All right. So Caleb Hurt, Tyler Amos, game one under their belt, and it's a twenty one to nineteen. Yes. Oh my goodness. Twenty one. 19 and a best of three. So number one versus number three. Caleb Hurt came in as the number one seed after throwing a 142 in the frame game qualifier. 66 pros started the day 16, finished in the final bracket, and this is the number one and the number three seed. So Tyler Amos, as he starts out with an 18 to one lead, ends up pulling it off 21 to 19 in game number one in a best of three. So we will find out. Now it's a one and We're done. We're rolling again. It's one and done. We're going to roll again. Absolutely. Why wouldn't we? We, we could have a, a three-game set here, Finn. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a, this is it's not, not one and done, no. It's not a best of three. It's a uh, two out of three. Two out of three. Yeah. Well, that's a best of that's three. That's a best yeah, of so three. so I'm an idiot. Even yeah. in Louisville. So if uh, – <laughs> If Tyler grabs it, it's a one and done. If Caleb grabs it, it's a rubber match. Yeah. Never been much on the rubber, so that's why <laughs> it probably didn't occur to me. <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> hey, mailbox is empty on Father's Day. That's all I'm saying. Well, my man Brad Woods tuning in. Look at that. Right yeah. there. That's a good way to get started. It's a good reset Twelve. for both of them. Is that last game in either of their heads right now? What's that? Is that last game in either one of their heads right now? Uh, I don't know. I, you know, Caleb could be thinking a little bit about it. He made that big, big comeback. It took a lot of energy to make that comeback yeah. right there. Well, that reset uh, eight under uh, right there. It says uh, to me, now nah, we flushed it out and we're moving on. <laughs> a lot of concentration it, that it took for him to get it back to 20 to 19 and then one bag, just one bag slides by the hole and, he's, and he loses. Or he gets beat. I'm not going to say Look at that. What a, yeah. what a shot right there. Yeah. Just lays that flat bag up and over. It almost doesn't even touch that OTT bag 
from Tyler, and it's nicely done there to get around his own bag, but you would have thought he would have pushed it through. <laughs> Look, <at God. laughs> That bag is sitting almost dead center, though. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit to the left. I'm starting to yeah. think, and I'm starting to have to get a hold of the guys. Nice finish there again, yeah. another eight underneath. But I'm starting to think we need to get a hold of the guys manufacturing these 724s. I think there might be little animals yeah. in those bags yeah. that hit the board and run. Little legs are going. <laughs> or remote controls, yeah. and somebody is sitting in a distant location that's saying, all right, this way, that way, and they're controlling them with joysticks. It just doesn't seem natural. Do <laughs> so you, you think he may be sitting at home controlling them yeah, for him? Exactly. You know? Hey, these are the best bags on the market, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do these bags have antenna? Uh, I need to talk to my OTT guy. Uh, yeah, right. I'm getting I'm yeah. getting screwed somewhere. Yeah, you're right. You gotta get some electronics in there. All right, so one of uh Caleb's bags up yeah. kind of high left. He's got one he should be able to go grab, and that's gonna be that's pinched not a pinched up bag. That's a good bag. Now will he chase? Ooh. Oh boy, and he did. Man, when's he when's have you in. seen that? Yeah, he tried Caleb to come in low and hard and it uh it was just a complete miscue right there. So oh boy. Nice bag, bag yes, wow. sir. He couldn't. Have, he couldn't have created a better oh, situation for himself. Be that's a monster. Seven. That is a monster frame yes. right there. But I'm not saying another word. No, about no, no, deficits. no. Not another word. No. Seven, nothing with that dirty bag in play there early on or in that. Uh, End of that frame. So. I, I tell you what, the, the shot Tyler made to get the last push yeah. was a great shot. Outstanding. So now he's going to force. He's he's going to force nothing. Okay, I'm just I'm glad that happened while I was talking. He's going to force nothing to happen no. except what, what you expect him. Now I see what he's doing. He's going to build yeah. a little bit of a a wall right there, and I'll just hop. For what? Over. Cool. Like, let's just roll this one over. Yeah, he just hopped over. It's cool. And I I appreciate your fence there, sir. I'm still <laughs> hopping over. Now he's got a, he's got a little look at that. He just went inside, outside, yeah. inside. How did he not take Tyler's bag with that? That's just nuts. Oh, and he could get right back in this yeah. game. There it is, up and over. Oh, he's got oh, he hit it he too. Did it. Nice shot. Seven to six. What a back to back rounds, shot. man. A Crazy. seven and a six. Would you would you have thought we'd have seen either one of those? No, no not, not this whole not. game. Not at all. Yeah. And, you know, and so let me ask you this: What was Tyler thinking doing that? Those I think, weren't mistakes. I, I, I think he was trying what, to lay landmines, and he just he just yeah. sidestepped them all. I think he threw his first bag out of play. He thinks I'll, I'll throw a little block here, maybe get yeah. him to do something different. He just rolled over that, and then rolled over it again. Yep. Sure did. Sure did. He went inside, outside, inside, and uh, boy, that was that was just brilliant shot making right there. And and we've seen Tyler do the exact same thing. Yeah. But he comes in. And it sometimes it's not as much finesse as it is, uh, nice you know, brute force like that right yeah. there. Yeah, you know, I think that's a round that Tyler would really like to have yeah. back the first bag he threw yeah. completely out of play. It wasn't even close. Yeah. Well, this will clean everything yeah. up, and they're back to squares. Oh, yeah. nice bag, good finish. I mean, that could have that could have really psychologically mm -hmm. got inside his head. But I tell you, he has kept a very very even keel. Very nicely done, jumping out to an early 7-0 lead, giving up the six. Seven on six as we look to get to a uh, possible rubber match here with Caleb Hurt taking yeah. the uh, loss in game number one. It was 21-19. to Tyler Amos. And this is for the Pro Series Championship. Number four of 10 Pro Series events, part of 35 ACO majors, the American Coronal Organization, as we continue gallivanting around the country. You know what that means, Finn? That means we got six more oh, of these, baby. I you gallivanting. You know <laughs> I, I use a lot of words. I don't know what they mean. But, yeah, we got six more. And we've got some other one-off events that we've got that we're talking about. The Field of Dreams will be back. Oh, up and over. Nice, nice shot. Great shot. He couldn't get that bag to fall, but I think it's ready to go if – if Tyler gives him anything right here, he's going to get it to drop. Oh, he didn't. It's no. stuck. He Boy, tried to get what. around that. I mean, look at that. Look at that over top. I mean, it is. Yeah. Well, it's pinched in, and that OTT is just sitting on that that southbound uh, portion of the bag. I yeah. thought for sure that would fall, but there was just enough of it pinched up. And interesting, he didn't even come look at it. Well, but, yeah, Caleb we, finally takes the lead, though, right there. His first lead he's had in, this, in these two games. In these two games, takes yeah. the first bag back, and that'll change the tenor of this game oh. as well. That's a. Very similar to that first uh, first frame. Look at that boy! I'll tell you what. <laughs> that now, bag was a rocket. I think somebody might have changed the fuse in the machine. 
Well, you know, that's that's a couple times that Tyler's oh, had to hit the front boy. of the board. He hit the front of the Look board that. with that uh, first bag, and that's why it's short. Mm. Gonna push, set up. A, I think he thought maybe uh, something roll. else might happen there. It's gonna be a little bit of a roll up over. Oh, he just went through it. There. I saw him adjust his fingers. I thought he might try to roll over that. Short, four more. That's be four. <laughs> yeah, we've had a six, a seven, and a four now. How come these two are playing and I'm the one over here breathing? I don't know. You're breathing uh, awful hard. I'm, though. A, I'm a little nervous <laughs> and I'm not doing anything. Twelve to seven. Caleb's taking the lead. He is locked what in and match. rolling. What a match. These are two great players great, here. Great, players, great yeah. players right here. And you see the king and uh, his doubles partner, Tyler's doubles partner, sitting over there and I think he's punching something up on his phone, maybe a secret, some sort of secret weapon. I think he just texted me and said, Tyler needs needs to get rolling again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. This, this Becky is sitting over there, hands crossed, nervous as a long tail cat in a room full of rockers. rocking chairs. I there knew you go. it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. All right, so these guys are just going to finish. Oh, oh they are wow. not going to finish. How about that, Caleb? You want another couple? Go yeah, ahead. just take it. Doubled no. up 14 on seven. He started out seven nothing. Doubles up 14 on seven, and this could be. Well, that could be. This is a pivotal point of this match right now. It really Tyler. is. Tyler, Tyler needs, to, needs get, to make a statement right here. He really gets. He really needs to get focused. Yeah, he sure does. And you know what? Let me tell you something. What what kind of catapult would it be for Tyler Amos to win this match? You know, I mean, it yeah. puts him up in the elite echelon. Yeah, no question. Yeah, he's, he's getting there anyway. He's going to be there. Oh, oh boy. And, but he can gamble like that. He can gamble like that. He's got one game under his belt. But you are playing the Hurts. Yeah. And I know you might get sick of hearing it, but we don't get sick of saying it. Only because it is the truth, and here's where we are. That's a nice bag right there. It's just take a doop. Let's take a left yeah. bag. Well, and it skipped over that corner. Nice gather right there, Tyler Amos. So he gives up the three. But I mean, you watch it. It kind of it picked up over. It ran up over the corner, and mm -hmm. it just left his bag sit there. Uh, he was. It was great that he was able to pick that up. But yeah, 17 on seven after being down seven nothing, right there. And everybody's kind of eyeballing Becky down the way. It looks like she's. Uh, I don't know if she's like casting a spell or putting a hex out there. I think she does. What's going on? She's doing something down there, but she has a chicken foot in her pocket. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> it might be. Check with Sammy Hagar and find out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's a bag down low. I mean, I, I gotta wonder. Is, is Tyler at this point just saying, "I just want this game over"? Yeah, with. maybe so. And let's I mean, just go one and done. Let's just do it head to head, baby. I mean, he got the first seven points and has not scored his 17 to nothing run. Oh, uh -huh. that was a good. And it's fixing to be 19 to nothing. Clean up right there. He's he got to go in. Push it through. Yes, he yep. does. He gets it up and in. So 19 to seven. Tyler takes a look over his shoulder and shakes his head. He's like, you got to be kidding me. How do I find myself here? After the yeah. lead that he put up, well, he was up. What was his lead in the last game? 18 to one. 18 to one. Yeah. He ends up taking it 21 to 18. If somebody now, up if, seven nothing here. If somebody told me Caleb Hurt would be down eighteen to one and, well, in any match, I would have called him you, a liar. You notice when we talked about that and how the crowd had built up around yeah. and then they saw him do what he does and now they're they've kind of dissipated. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, there he that's is what again. we thought. We thought y'all were lying. We do still have a nice crowd gathered around. Yeah, we, oh, absolutely, no question. A lot of viewers online. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm glad to have you along for the ride, Brad Woods. And, Adrian Johnson throwing down for the SVA. Nick Garner. Oh, boy, that was a low. I thought, yeah. I thought he was in danger coming in low and hot on that one of another. Uh, what was the dirty bag? What do we call that? A Junior Williams yeah. blocker? Who, who was it that called it that? Uh, who did they call it that? Who was it? Was you should ask me that. I can't remember. Oh, that's so funny. Was that Becky herself? I mean, uh, uh, his wife. Is that what she said? Oh, Tammy? Yeah. Might have been. I don't know. 
Kind of funny. Well, and up and over. Oh, he tries to gamble. He tries to gamble to go for that air mail, and now he's put that bag out of play. And we're and going to game yeah, gonna three. Go game three. Yeah, we are at 19 on seven right now. That's going to be all it takes. Oh, now, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> Don't count it so early, <laughs> Phillip. <laughs> I saw Becky kind of cringe with that last oh, bag. Oh, my. If he puts it in, all that requires. He's got to do it, too. Is the same thing. Oh, and, and that's it. It, it was it. it. I wasn't right. premature on that. <laughs> so 21 to 7 now. Caleb Hurt in very short order by comparison to the length of the first game. He takes game number two. So 21-19 after being down 18 to 1. Game three. Game three. For the for the pro, pro series. The series pro, uh, pro series number. <laughs> I'm all confused over. The pro series number four. Yep, championship yep. match right it now. It comes down to one game. It comes down to one. And would we have it any other way? No, no we would not. No. This is exactly what we expected Absolutely. to see happen. Absolutely. Oh, blew what's left of my vocal cords out just now. All right, Kessler says, all right, Tyler, let's regroup and let's go. Yeah. But in and of itself, that is not the regrouping. I don't think he was expecting right there is a little bit of a roll, as you saw there, coming in low and high. It was a good bag. And he's, that other one's gettable. Yeah. Gather it up. It know, was. It was, <laughs> yeah, right. Until so, till a sumo bag came in and laid on top yeah. of it. Oh, backside air mail. Backside, he's gonna lay low. Oh, he's not laying. I <laughs> oh, thought okay. That was, I thought he was laying low. He came in on the right hand side. Well, you know, he threw that shot a lot when he was playing his brother. Oh, oh another shot another by backside. Tyler. Outstanding. And I think Tyler's decided I'm not gonna try yeah. to push through his block yeah. anymore. I'm just gonna no. start shooting over. I'm gonna do what I know yeah. I can do. I'm going balls to the wall or bags to the drags or whatever you want to call it. And uh, he's got, because he's got one shot now. Yeah. There's one shot. This isn't a, oh gosh, golly, I hope I get one and then That's I hope, right. you know, whatever. These got to go. It was the almost drag. You're exactly right. You've got, you got to play these guys aggressive, I think. Yeah, no question. You can't, if you get passive, they are going to just eat you alive. Well, Caleb's bag sits outside to the right. Is he going to be able to go in and collect it or is he going to, well, he tried. He tried. Pushed it up now around that one o'clock position. It's probably of no use to him. So now Tyler's just got to maintain and go ahead and take the two he's going to be given. Yep. Once again, if he can make this bag, he's going to start off with the early lead yep. like he's he gonna, has he's, in he's both games. Make, he's got to make there it. There it is. There can't be any of that the way he lost that last game right there. He cannot have that happen again. No. Because honestly, it'll break him down mentally. Yes, sir. I've got to see what he does with this first bag. If he tries to throw some blockers. Kurt Amos says he's just trying to keep it interesting going to game three. He's just toying. He thinks he's just toying with Caleb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He better not toy with yeah. the bear. I can tell you that right you know, now. You know the, the snake, as you said. Yeah. Do you not play the with the snake. The last person to toy with Caleb Hurt was Santa. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But I'll tell oh. you what, these guys, these guys, this has been a complete and utter slugfest. It's been fun to watch. It's been it's hard to watch at some point, too, because yeah. you – you just sit there and think, oh, oh I'm as, I'm as yeah, nervous as either one of them are. Yeah, right every now. shot, man. Every one of them. Caleb's left this one off to the left side. It's not gettable. So, Tyler did what he needs to do. Caleb's going to do what he needs to do. Oh, oh, he did that. not do what he needs to do. So, there's a four spot. So, so that's going to take him up, what, six? Six to six nothing. nothing. He got seven to nothing last time and then got the dominated. Charlene Mitchell says, hi, Finn and Phil. What's happening? Scott Mitchell's wife tuning in. Glad to have you on. All right. She said, actually, hey, Phil and Finn. Yeah. I thought it's she right. said. I know, I, I think... know where I rate. <laughs> I know where I rate. Number, number three out of there two. There you go. I got That's you. perfect. It's me, Scott, <laughs> uh, Scott Mitchell, me, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually sure about that. Just, Scott might actually be third in that equation now that I think about it. All right, so that OTT yeah. left out to the left side. That's going to be the same problem for him that uh, Caleb had a yeah. moment ago. So he's just going to trade him back out. You know, Caleb's going to drive it right up the center there. And just, just as soon as Tyler gets the lead, he gives up a point. Oh, boy, and he just. And now this get around. Watch this. Yeah, watch. Now he's going to touch Whoop. it. Oh, he just touched just Four. very, very lightly. Yep. You, you saw it coming. He, he does not miss that shot. Yep. 
And as soon as that as soon as that bag left his hand, Tyler's last bag left his hand. You, you just saw a, a little bit of a wince on his face. You know some something else that's interesting that you watch the demeanor as they move, you know, from end to end as they go. Um, and it may not mean anything, but watch Tyler, how he does or does not. Oh, nice back. Told you, he's, he's not playing anymore. Yeah. When he, when he takes off his hat, he knows. It's sort of like a disciplinary action on himself. Like. <laughs> he takes that hat off and readjusts it and puts it back on. Well, it hit low, but, you know, there's only two or three things Caleb could do with that, push it through, roll it over, or air mail it, you know. He did, he, did, he did exactly what he should have done. Yeah. There's a good solid finish right there. I think that levels everybody out. Just the hat, as you said. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, that was I a, that didn't was even a notice it, man. Well, it, when he when he when he's mad, he takes it off, scratches it, and puts it back on. When he's <laughs> that happy, time was just a little he just tip. takes it off <laughs> and puts it back tip. on. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's like he's tipping his hat to the crowd, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or to his I, shot I, man. Now right. there's the block. Let's see if he goes up and over. Interesting. I I don't know. Does he? Do you think so? Yep, he does. Oh, his, when he his gets airmail it. is on oh, point. It is. And then Caleb says, "All right, I tried that. And there it is again, Finn." So we were it's hating. insane. That uh, bag was not easy to push. Uh -uh. I mean, push, and he just like makes it look easy. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah. Very good. I mean, and again, I would love to sit here and talk strategy. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Heck no. I, there's. I mean, honest to God. I'm lucky to be here witnessing it along with oh, you. Oh, man, and we are lucky. At home. We're very and, lucky. And what's funny, I could sit here with a telestrator like a dumbass <laughs> all night long go, this is going to happen, this is going to yeah. happen, this is going to it, it, it doesn't matter what no. I think is going to happen. These guys have their there's a, their own physics. When you get to this level, there's this own level of physics that just cannot yeah. be explained or to a degree predicted. And here we go again. Is he going to shoot it again? No, he's going to force him. He's going to force him to make a mistake. And he is not right. missing just the air mill, just like he's, he's not missing the pushes. Look at that. I say, I'm going to leave that. Hey, shoot it again, young man. Do it again. Yeah, last time I think he gave up. He pushed through it and just gave it to him. But he's going to make him do it again. That's oh, short. Yeah, there. I saw that's, it when it left his hand. Yep, and that's what he wanted. He wanted to make him do that. And that's why Caleb left the blocker in place. He didn't. He, he, gave, he, he pushed through it too early in the previous frame. I think he realized his mistake psychologically, and he went for it. There, he yep, did it. There's that 12, and, and right. that's it. Well, he's going to take the lead right here. No matter what Tyler does, he's back in the lead. All right, so that three points. Seven to six. Back up top. Seven six takes the first bag back. Very uh, quiet uh, confirmation of her support over there in the corner from Becky, yeah. who has separated herself from all things <laughs> SVC, all She's things She's sitting family. over there with all her friends right now, mm -hmm. man. Well, you know who's conspicuous in their absence right now around that center court? I don't see Isaac. Isaac he was see. sitting over there. There he is. He's sitting right there by Sebastian Barton. Oh, yeah, there yeah. he is. Not paying attention, I guess. No. That's a <laughs> he's, yeah, he's All just, the juniors. You know, they, they, uh, there's a camaraderie with those juniors like yep. no other, almost like the seniors. It's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, nice bag. Is he going to have enough to get it? Oh, oh he tried. It's going, though. It's, it's just a, it's yeah, there sitting there on layaway. Collected. Fourth bag blues. What happens here? Is he going to be able to drop it under and leave it the same for a wash? Just um, another double does. 12. You know, it's so interesting, too. You know, you watch the seniors straight up the middle and in the center, straight up the middle and in the center. These guys have so many, so much English on their bags that it almost always seems to come up and circle the back, you know, what you call that yeah. back corner of the yeah, hole. Yeah, the back corner of the, the hole. The back corner. All right, here he goes. Boy, it's like clockwork right now. Airmail. Come on, <laughs> airmail, or just push it through. Is he going to push it through? Yeah. Uh, he's he's gonna, giving up yeah. on the airmail. I he knew. Did. It scared him. Oh, God <laughs> Roll. I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. Roll. Sorry about that. Nice bag. Nice bag. Hard push. That's what needs to have happen. All right. Now you got one sitting there. Left side. Easily collectors on the right. Oh, boy. Now he didn't make it any easier on Caleb, but Caleb goes ahead and cleans it up. Now he's got it. He's got to make good on this bag up the center. He's got to. The score going to remain seven to and six, and it could stay that way 
for a while. Whew. Good golly. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to check some here. <laughs> checking your pulse? I'm checking my <laughs> pulse. You can't I'm really. Not get, I'm not getting one. Is that good or is that good or bad? I'm as long as you don't feel cold over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It is it is so much fun to watch the action here on center court. We've had great stuff coming up on court one. The CBC guys, the Corn Slingers Bag Company. There's a couple. Yeah. Uh, out to the left side there, that Caleb probably would like to have a little bit more control of. But nice. who who knows? He might throw a lasso around those and get he them might. all. I don't know how. Oh. Uh. Well. And Tyler will take that right there. Yeah, there's an opportunity. Now, is he going to go yeah. get around or over top? He's, he's going to try to get around here. Get around. Oh. oh, and that one got around to the wrong oh. place. Yeah. Caleb. Uh, and Tyler can pick up one just on the board right here. I think. Nothing underneath, so yeah. There is one underneath, but I'm not real sure. I mean, Oh, is there? It's in the shadow. Yeah. I didn't see it down underneath there. So you got one for all Tyler. four. Yeah. Yeah, you got all four of Caleb's up top, one down low. You have one off the back. So, yeah, there you go. Now we have that proverbial game to 14. Yep. For the Pro Series. Yeah. It's crazy, man. This uh, this scoreboard looks like uh, the beginning of a really good slot yeah, machine. absolutely. <laughs> we can need the other one right yeah, there, right? Yeah. You know what would be the next one? Womp, womp. And it was me playing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, the, 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 the triple di diamond would stop about yeah. right there before yeah. the line. That's I, how I would not get the wheel of fortune you in. split. Yeah, spin, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Well, again, congratulations no matter the outcome. Caleb Hurt, the number oh. one qualifier, Tyler, number three. Here from the uh, frame games and into the pro series, 66 pros battling for 16 spots in the finest of the fine right here, right now, down to, as you would expect, the final uh -huh. game. All right, a couple drop down underneath. Yeah. I think a couple of Tyler's, and he just cannot get a point because oh, he rolled over not, the bag. Not it, able to do it. Oh, my I, goodness. Man, I saw the head shake over there. Brian Jones just shook his head like, that's insane. It's unbelievable. Just when you think you're going to get two points and you got bags all around the hole, he rolls well, over it. And what's crazy, when you're looking at the overhead, you see the real estate that's there. When yeah. you're standing back where they are, you can't see that, but no. it doesn't matter. Because the worst thing that could happen, it rolls over and sticks. Yeah. And that's the worst possible scenario. Oh, yeah. Because he's not going to throw it hard enough to bounce it off the back. No. Oh, look at that. That's, that was a, a nice bag. bag. Yeah, cleaned it well, all up. And Money Mike says that roll shot was nasty. Yeah. And that one he threw right there was probably one of the nastier yeah. of the nasty. It was. It was mean. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't just nasty. It was mean. Yeah, absolutely. He snatched two points out of Tyler's hand. Oh, boy. All right. Exchanging taters, exchanging four baggers, and we move on. I agree, I agree with Wally Kessler, he, what he just said. He, he's seen some yeah. great rollers, but Caleb is beyond consistent. Well, and he's just – I mean, there are a few shots that I think that – I think Isaac has pushed him a little yeah. bit to get better. I think absolutely. the bag and that hard push, absolutely. I think Isaac has absolutely pushed him to become better at those because airmail was always his thing. Yeah. Airmail was always his thing. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we've seen Caleb a bunch of times mm -hmm. on center court here. Sure. That roll bag tonight – Oh, it's it is, 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 is like 100% yeah. better than it has been so far well, this year. And, it, and it's, oh, wow. it's been 100% dependable, too. And that's why I'm saying chasing the bags, it's, I don't know, he, can, he could give up a big he's round right here. He's yeah, outside, he's going to do yep. it again. Uh, he, he moved it just a little bit. That bag was going to be a hard get anyway. Yeah, but he's not going to get it now. He's going to no. step inside and take what he can. Lays it low, oh, puts and the blocker. This, this could be seven. You think it's going to go around the right side? No, oh, he's no, just going to get three. Up. He'll take those three and he'll stack Man, it up. Oh, I, th boy. I thought he was, he was in a position to throw this short airmail right there and drag that bag. Oh. This, is, this is like giving me a cramp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Caleb, tough man, little biased, maybe because we live right near each other in Virginia, but he tough money. He tough money. He tough money. Yeah. 
And he's playing it. for house money right yeah, now. I haven't gotten engaged to Adrian on uh -oh. January 1. All right, that's going to be trouble right there because you do not give Caleb that much real estate in the hole, and he doesn't make you pay. Caleb is dialed in right yeah, now. He really is. Oh, oh, and this could be seven. This could be it. And I'll tell you what, Tyler is, is I think, I think he's, yeah, he's falling apart a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I, I hate to see that because yeah. he has struggled and fought. And, oh, oh, and that's good. not seven. That God. is nine. That's a nine spot. 19, 19 to seven. seven. And Tyler cannot make one no. more mistake. Nope, not one. And you, you got to say his demeanor has changed a little bit. Yeah, well, he just snatched that yeah. first bag up there. It's almost as if he just wants to get, uh, yeah. get to the restaurant or get to the bar at this point. But he's got <laughs> his foot straight down the center of that red spot on this pitch nice pad. Bag. That's a nice bag. He's going to go ahead and take advantage of that middle that's given to him. Caleb says, all right, well, worst case, I'm going to make you push through me. He's, you know he's not going to shoot the airmail. Can't take, can't afford to. No, he no. can't. And I don't know that that was exactly the – result he was hoping for right there. Mm. I think he was hoping to follow that one in. Adrian Johnson says, Kayla, mentally break you down. Yeah. And I, I tell you what, some of the shots oh, Kayla's been shot. making, that, that that's possibly a very yeah. true statement. That's a great shot. Yeah. Well, and there, at some point, you always there's always one shot that makes you remember who it is you're standing next to. Yeah. It's all right. He picked up a couple there, and he'll take those. He'll take those. He'll take the hat off and rub. And he rubbed his head. <laughs> yeah, he's not he happy. His head, yeah. He's not happy. If he takes it off and puts it back on, he's okay. If he takes it off, scratches, and then puts it back on, not so good. <laughs> it's first a tell. Bag, first big bag right here, though. It's a yeah. big bag for him right yeah. here. Let's see if he can right the ship a little bit. Yeah. The good news and the bad news is he did exactly what he wanted yeah. to do there. Yeah, and then Caleb replaces it. Make you try to get that kicker. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought he might try to roll over I did that too. I thought he, I didn't think he'd try yeah. to replace. I thought he'd go up and over because he knew he could. I think he's gonna he's gonna make nice uh, bag. Tyler do it, and that's very well done right there. Let's see if Tyler can finish up right here. Keep this game extended. Mm -hmm. There it is. There it is. All right, very good. Right up the middle. Well, I will tell you this. Over at the hotel, the housekeeping is by request. Over here, it's frame after frame after Absolutely. frame. Cleaning Absolutely. Cleaning this board up. At uh, 19 on nine, there is a, a still a lot of hard work to get done here for Tyler Amos, who risks running into the same buzzsaw that he did <laughs> in <laughs> Panama City Beach against the very same buzzsaw operator. It was a best two or three. This is a best two or three, and now all he's got to do is find a way to rally and get it done. He is Craig Irvin's doubles partner and yeah. stuntman. Tyler Amos has played lights out through the course of the day. Sometimes oh. you've just you've just got to rise above. And he was playing a lot more aggressively, I think, in game number one. And I think all of a sudden something snapped. Well, I'll tell you what snapped. When he, went for that, when he went for that air mail and it was short, yep. he, he started off this game being very aggressive. He, he went, oh, up and over oh, and airs off the back. Caleb can finish this match off. He's going to go low. No. Leaves him up to the side. All right, so he's left a, he's left the uh, opportunity there for that OTT bag to yeah. push through another OTT bag, and he leaves him sitting there. So the question is roll. now roll up and over. Well, he's going to go look, look at, at I think he's going to try to roll yeah. this, and he's got that room like yeah. he, he's got the exact same yeah. room he had earlier when that he rolled it in spot. there. In fact, he's yep. got from he's got from midnight to 3 a.m. Yeah, absolutely. Wide open. Absolutely. Right there. He's going to go back. I want to. I want to stand up. I want to take a look at what happens here. I want to see this from the bird's eye view. Oh, he's going to go. He oh, tried. Oh, and he tried it, and it just sat. And he gets one. It just sat there. So, twenty on nine right now. Caleb Hurd over Tyler Amos. He took game number one. Did Tyler twenty-one to nineteen? Oh man. Are you telling me there's going to be a game three? <laughs> it may be game four. Or game four. Oh, okay. this is a game four. This I'm is sorry. game three is right game here, buddy. Three. Good God. I'm, I'm a little Are you woozy. Tired? I'm a little woozy. <laughs> Good God. And we, we still got plenty of time here. Oh, yeah. If I wasn't so cold, I'd stand up too. Oh, come on now. <laughs> nice. Like that. Well, it's just like, uh, like butter. 
Uh, you know those bags are going in. Uh, he, oh. knows, he knows he's going to finish, so he might as well let his bag join the party. Oh, good Lord. Game. If he, no. <sighs> Tyler must make this push right here to he's keep this game going. Got to get it going. Oh, and he goes hard. And that's he does. going to do it. Unbelievable. But once again, we crown another ACO, American Cornhole Organization, Pro Series champion. And once again, that last name rhymes with Hurt. And once again, it is Caleb Hurt. Three out of four Pro Series have gone to Caleb. The other one has gone to Isaac. Congratulations. Nicely done. Tyler Amos, bravo. Absolutely. Very well played. Nicely done. Absolutely. So congratulations. Well done. He worked his way through a hell of a lot of great players and through a damn fine frame game, and that's going to do it. I think. Uh, what do we? What was? What was the final call there on that score? Uh, Nineteen to seven. Twenty-one eight. on seven. Twenty-one to eight. Twenty-one, 21 to eight. on eight. All yep. right. Well, that's going to do it, and we're going to strap these uh, these headphones on. Uh, um, a fella, it's it's a it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name's Finn, and you are. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Phil. It's good. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. We've seen you play a lot around uh, a lot of tournaments, but we've never really had a chance to uh, spend any quality time with you. Are you yeah. kidding me, dude? What are you doing? What is going on with you? I don't know. I had to. I had to fight for that one. That yeah, one, you that did. Was a tough one. Tyler played really well. Yeah, he, he, he did. did. He, he really did. Good. And there were a couple of moments where we talked about this where. We're, lo we're looking at the score and we're thinking, I've never seen, you know, because we, we watch, we even watched the crowd when I think the word got around that it was, what, 18 to 1? Yeah. 18 to 1, all of a sudden people started going, and then all of a sudden you start coming back, people start going back to what they were doing. Like, oh, well, we know what's going to happen here. But to Tyler's credit, he kept his head in the game. You guys, every once in a while, would just push eight bags through, and it was like a little bit of a reset. But there were there was just something about I, I said something must have changed a fuse in the machine because yeah. you dialed it in and you figured out exactly what you want to do. When was that point? Well, when he got that big lead like that, when he started like eighteen to three or one, whatever it was, I, I knew I was like I knew I would I wasn't throwing like I wasn't playing aggressive like I usually do. Yeah. So, and, and he then, was he came out yeah. he came out hot. I mean yeah, he, he came, came out, out firing. I knew at, and after the. Once we got in the second game, I knew that I was just going to have to pretty much just just keep pounding them in the hole and wait for – throwing that little to block, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he – I think the game changed, especially game three when he went for that air mail yeah. and, and, and went off. You could see the frustration. He didn't try that anymore. Yeah. He was hanging with you making the air yeah. mail. You were rolling bags and doing whatever you do. Crazy shots. How do you do <laughs> that, man? Can you can you work with me a little bit a little later, man? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I wish I could do it all the time. Yeah. Well, uh, really? Well, apparently we have different definitions of all the time. Hey, I, I, do, I do want to say one thing about your roll bag. It, we've watched you here on center court numerous times. I think tonight your roll bag was probably better than I've seen it yeah. the whole year. Have you something you've been working on? Um, I've been working on my block game a little bit, playing a little bit more block style than rather than sliding them in the hole. But earlier I was playing when I was playing over – played TJ over there. I just slid everything in because he was missing one way or another. But Tyler wasn't really missing sliding them in. So then I I tried to – started just playing a simple block game. Yeah. Maybe – I well, was trying to just get him miss one bag every now and then, pick up two maybe. Yeah. But Well, it was interesting. We saw the one. You laid the block. He air mailed over it. You pushed through it. And then the next frame, you laid the block. I think he air mailed, but you made him do it again. And then yeah. he missed. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you decided to go. Yeah. You gave up. You gave it up a little earlier yeah. than you normally would have. But it was it was something to see. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, the, the lights in here have been blinding <laughs> off the reflection of what we were calling the mirror ball, which is that engagement ring oh, yeah. that Adrian's where We asked later during the uh, ACO after party dance if we could hang that from the ceiling and make it a mirror ball. <laughs> so now we know where the early money went. Now yep. the house money. Yeah. You're playing with house money is what's happening now. Congratulations to the two of you. Thank we're you. We're so happy for you. We're looking forward to finding out when that wedding's going to be. Thank and you. I told him we're going to fly in. We're coming in in a helicopter. We're coming in upside down to trim the trees and create a new landing. And then you can build your house right there in that All landing. Right. How about hey, I that? think y'all should have it at a major. I mean, 
this uh, hey, why not? Look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's three of us think that's hilarious. One of us does not. <laughs> well, congratulations, buddy. Thank so you, absolutely, Isaac man. takes you juniors. You take the job, pro series. Man. Oh, and there's all day tomorrow. Yeah. So singles and doubles. And tomorrow, 500 plus singles players. This is the biggest major in the history of the ACO. And you guys have taken all four pro series amongst you. Three to you, one to Isaac. And congratulations. And I do know that Tyler Amos, he definitely wants revenge. That third time he wants is the charm because Panama City Beach, best two or three <laughs> right here in Owensboro, best two or three. Well done. Congratulations. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Have a good one, brother. All right. So that's going to wrap it up for the Pro Series number four here in Owensboro Center Court. Nicely done. They're going to go off and hug and kiss yeah. and do whatever new or uh, newly engaged folks do. And uh, we wish them all the best. Now, Kayla or Caleb. Isaac is already back out on center court. I don't know what Braxton. he's doing out there. Braxton. He's practicing because he knows what he's up against uh, at the family reunion, if nothing That's right. else. So for all of us here at the ACO, here from center court, it's been one hell of a pro series. 66 wow. pros down to 16, and who knew? And that is quite an accomplishment. Caleb Hurt walks away with the number one slot and the big check once again. Now, tomorrow, a massive day here at the Owensboro Absolutely. Convention Center. Who, who you have your eyes on uh, tomorrow in doubles and singles? Did anything change from your predictions uh, nothing on changed, Tuesday? Nothing changed, but I'll tell you what. The, the way Caleb's throwing right here, he's going he's gonna to be the man to beat. To I'm going to tell you singles, right. Yeah. yeah. I did pick his little brother, but he, he dismantled his little brother today. Watch out for Drew Waking. Yep. Watch out for Craig Irving could get hot again, and, and we and saw Tyler. what Tyler can yep. do, man. I mean, it's anybody's ball game tomorrow. Well, it's going to be fun, fun day, and I can't wait. Absolutely. Well, I know you made your predictions on Tuesday. I didn't know if anything you had seen over the course no. of the year or anybody you had played against maybe had you change your opinion mm -hmm. of what's possible. But the good news is whenever we show up and we turn these cameras on, Anything is possible. Absolutely. Very, uh, a couple of things are probable, but you never know until you know. And the only way to find out what happens tomorrow is be here with That's us tomorrow right. live from the Owensboro Convention Center. It's a little prelude to the World Championships of Season 18 for the American Cornhole Organization. Philip Barnett, the Mississippi Ninja. Thanks to Eric Heinerman, Oz, behind the scenes, our executive producer, and everybody. Uh, Chris, Clark. Chris Clark. Chris yeah. Clark, April Clemens, and everybody behind the tournament direction. They're calling last call, so we got to go. So be on, uh, uh, on behalf of everybody <laughs> got, got here at Center Court, yeah, we got to get to the bar, if you know what I'm saying. I'm Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO, and we will see you tomorrow on the ACO Digital Network. Mm, mm.